Hey folks, welcome back for another Band of Brothers diorama build. In this one, I'll be making a scene from the third episode, Carantan. For this scene, I'll need four buildings, at least a cutout section of them. I'm using cardboard to make the most basic form of a building. Taping the ends with masking tape to keep them from not wiggling before I glue the edges. To cover the surfaces I'm using foam core. This will also let me do some brickwork on the buildings, simulating the damage to the plaster, wall paints and so on. At some point I covered the surfaces with wood filler, hoping it would create some sort of a bonding surface for the paint, but it didn't. There are other ways to do that, but I wanted to experiment with the material. I'm using styrofoam bricks to decorate the buildings with cornerstones and made some window frames and doors to install on the buildings. As usual, I made shingles from leftover cardboard pieces. I saved the hardest building, for me at least, for the last. Because simply I don't understand the dimensions and the specs of this building. It's a warehouse alright, but for example I can't tell the exact color of it or where its yard wall starts or ends. So I left this building all up to my imagination while trying to be loyal to some of the details.
I made the iron scaffolding in front of this building off the camera. I will paint it after I paint the building itself. To paint this building, I'm using regular craft paint mixed with some PVA glue to help paint stick on the surface. I decided to add some industrial color to it and decided to dry brush some bronze on the roof, applied mud green and rust red weathering powders. In the episode, I see this piece as iron painted in black. I decided to paint the majority of it with black mixed with a bit of a bronze and painted the stairs and the floorboards with brown to help differentiate it a bit more from the rest of the structure. Now on to the other buildings. Since I can't really make out the exact color of the buildings and their roof tiles, I'm improvising here. At the end of the day, this is not an exact replica of Carantan in 1944. All I'm trying is to capture Shifty's scene where he shoots a German sniper. I'm painting the drainage pipes with bronze. It should have been zinc maybe, but I don't have that color and bronze is always better than a boring black or another lighter color. The cafe building should have included the door in this cut form. I realized it long after I opened the window space but then decided to continue as it is. Now that I'm done with the building work, it's time to work on the details and the base itself. I'm cutting strips from steering sticks to make a chicken coop. Building this took a long time and I really didn't want to cut the videos for each section of the build so I speeded it up. I sacrificed the sieve to use the mesh on the coop. Painting it with dark silver color.
gluing the building's extensions to complete the buildings. I redesigned some of the scene elements, like the road sign, and printed them. I glued on a cardboard piece and cut out the excess to get the um, exact shape of the sign. Glue two small sticks on it to complete the look. These five posters were a big challenge to work on in such a small scale. Even though we can't read them or see what they actually are, it's still nice to see some clutter on the wall. Now the details are over, it's time to prepare the base. For the base, I use foam core and cut some more pieces to fit right under the buildings. I sand them a bit for better paint coverage. Making cobblestones for the road in the scene, using regular styrofoam for it. There are easier ways and faster ways to make this, but I like the puzzle-like feeling of making it this way. Once dried, I covered the entire surface with anthracite grey and then lighter tones of grey and finished it up with weathering powders. Looking at the figures bin, I'll need two dead US figures, one figure to represent ship the powers, one German sniper and one German machine gunner. For the German machine gunner, I'm using one of the old Rebel figures. I'll have to strip its paint off before painting it again. To strip the paint off, I soak the figure in acetone. A couple of minutes later, I peel it off with an old stiff brush. Before the paint, I clean off the mold lines from the figures. Off the camera, I heavily modified the two dead figures. I'm keeping the figure painting short. Applied black primer first and Bellahill's green brown for US soldiers, Revelle's olive green and German grey for German sniper. Once everything is ready, I put all the elements on the base in their respective spots.
I forgot that this building's door should have been at the sidewalk level, so I made a step for it. I'm adding rubble I made from wall plaster all around the scene to display artillery damage and some destruction. I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm always open for your diorama ideas, so let me know about them in the comments section. And I'll see you next time.